Hey, what's up my little schnorple schmucks? I've got a little something here today, a little, little bit of a something different. I know I say that every time and I'll never stop saying it, but today I've got something a little different. Uh, I want to talk about a certain someone who I don't like at all. In fact, I'd go so far as to say I hate this fella. We're talking about Boogie2988. Now, I don't know a whole ton about this guy. I, I never watched him when he was quote-unquote like a nice guy or tolerable in any way i've only known the boogie that's like a scamming poor asshole boogie is genuinely one of the worst people on youtube and, and i and i wholeheartedly believe that you know from my expert opinion i i think boogie is bad i don't think he should have an audience at all call me controversial but that's that's just what i believe i don't think boogie deserves an audience or or even really a youtube channel anymore i think uh he should just have all internet access just cut that down he does does he the last thing boogie needs is the fucking internet and that's been shown to us over over many many years i may not have been around for very long only only a few years that i've been loosely following this guy but every single time he gets in hot water, it is pathetic and it makes me angry. So what did he do this time? Mr. Williams here decided that it would be a fantastic idea to partner with like Pump Dot pump.co or some shit and and release a shit coin or a meme coin I, I i don't care if there's a difference between them it's a scam he's scamming his audience so i guess we should just like actually look at the announcement trailer that first got boogie in his hot water here listen up all you top g's there's some misinformation being spread around right now by certain influencers okay so first of all i i want to get the elephant in the room and it's it is boogie but whatever he's shirtless you can see all the all the yucky melted ice cream body he's got there uh he's got his girlfriend obviously objectifying her in the same way that andrew tate does but it's somehow uh just worse here because boogie does it like every single like okay so yeah just looking at his channel a lot of his thumbnails have his girlfriend in it mostly it's it's just gross how he just uses her like a goddamn prop. And later on, you can clearly tell she doesn't want to be a part of it. Uh, apparently, Boogie likes to make the claim that, oh, oh, she loves it. She loves to be part. I, I don't think so. I, I really, some part of me doubts it. I mean, just looking at this image, this guy's a bad person. If you don't know this, the, the tragic fucking story of this guy, you, you might look at these arcade machines in the back and be like, oh, he's just a nerd who plays video games. But the fact that these arcade machines in the background are even here, this is me off beyond belief and I'll elaborate that further. I don't want to I don't want to air every grievance out in the first fucking 2 minutes. So, let's 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 dive a little further into this. But just keep those arcade cabinets in mind uh later on. To, to keep you in the rat race and enslaved to certain disciplines. Like look at her. She she does not want to fucking be there. And I don't blame her. You see this body? This is what peak performance looks like. And it wasn't an accident. All right, yeah, that this is what peak performance looks like. Um, editing me, can you please just play that clip from the documentary of Boogie just going down the list of every all, all his ailments? This is what peak performance looks like. Here's everything that's wrong with Boogie: low testosterone, testicular hypogonadism, sleep apnea swelling due to the blockages of lymphatic flow, seboric eczema, chronic back pain, protein in urine. That's from kidney damage, folks. This is what peak performance looks like. Otherwise, if I don't wear this machine at night, when I'm supposed to be sleeping, I'm actually drowning in my own fat. Peak performance. High blood pressure, history of gastric bypass, intestinal malabsorption, vitamin D sufficiency, morbid obesity, major depressive disorder, major anxiety disorder, history of diabetes mellitus, blood pooling in veins, varicose veins of the legs with complications, degeneration of lumbar or lumbosacral interver intervertebral disc. That means my back don't work so good. Peak. History of basal cell carcinoma, that's cancer, and of course I can't breathe so good, so asthma and allergies as well. This is what peak performance looks like. Little Andrew's out there needing consistent 
validation. Oh, love me, love me. Won't you love me tonight, Andrew? Ridiculous coming from Boogie saying some shit like that. You can't see it in this video, but um, just about every time this fucking loser opens his mouth, it's some way to make himself the victim in every single way, every conversation, everything you can accuse him of, he's always the victim somehow. It is so frustrating. And, and you know, there's a good chance Boogie might might actually see this video and some of you might say oh then why are you being so mean to him if you might see it it's because he doesn't fucking care people have been shitting on him for years because he's been an awful person for years and and he loves to like deflect any criticism by saying oh yeah yeah i know i'm an awful person i know i'm a, I'm a covert narcissist you know I'm, I'm i'm stupid i'm dumb kind of foreshadowing a little bit but like i'm just so fucking upset this guy is just so frustrating to me but yeah no matter what i say Boogie will not change his life for the better. He will continue to be an asshole no matter what. So I don't really feel the need to pull any punches because... <laughs> He, he can take it. It was hundreds and hundreds of pounds of fucking body armor that he's got. Boogie's a bad person in, in every way and does not deserve sympathy or respect. Sure, it would be great to see this guy not be an insufferable asshole, but we all know that's never going to happen. Make sure your woman feels secure by knowing you're not going anywhere. Now, Fatty is a community for like-minded individuals that have broken free from the matrix. True happiness comes from a goldfish, from the same woman a couple of nights a month, and the occasional meme coin. Fatty for life. <laughs> Obviously that was an awful fucking advertisement. If you could even call it that. It's awful. I don't really care if he's doing this whole shitcoin thing. You know, if, if people are still stupid enough to, like, try and support Boogie, then that's, that's their own fault. The part that upsets me is his defense of this. Because it's just, it's so fucking bad. It, every time Boogie tries to defend himself, he digs himself into a hole. Like, Boogie's damn near at the fucking core of the earth at this point. He's like, he's like basically at China. Anyways, so we're now familiar with the, the awful, awful announcement for this awful, awful shitcoin, and the wonderful financial internet detective Coffeezilla, uh, he decided to call Boogie and interrogate him about this shitty crypto scam. But, you know, this this video is just an absolute gold mine. It's a it's a masterpiece, really. And and what not to do to protect yourself against the allegations of a crypto scam. Today, I confronted Boogie two nine eight eight on a crypto pump and dump he did, where he got paid ten thousand dollars to promote a coin, and he said that he thought that just because he said, hey, don't buy this unless you're rich, uh, that nobody was gonna put their money in. A few hours later, $3 million worth of trading volume. Oh, oh, Boogie, no. Boogie, it looks like you launched a crypto token uh, that is a scam, a pump and dump. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I don't think it's a pump and dump it is a meme coin it's literally it from is. a thing called pump dot fun what are you talking about yeah i think coffeezilla really says it best there it's called fucking pump dot co or whatever the fuck was it pump dot com or some shit what the fuck else would you expect boogie what would you honestly realistically expect and i know he's gonna be like oh well he's like I would expect it to like fucking not not be because I'm stupid and I let my covert narcissism take over and stuff and they're like because he's because it's just the kind of fucking loser that he is. I didn't. I never knew who Pump Dot Fun was until today. Oh my god, you don't fucking partner with someone until you find out like who they are and like at least know a baseline level. Like wh okay, who who is this? I've never partnered with someone and I know that buggy. Come on. Right, but and you said before you posted the pump and dump you said we're going to crush the internet pump dot fun you didn't realize at that point you're doing a pump and dump that you're getting paid by insiders to do this well not really because again if you watch oh my fucking god boogie wow obviously he did know that i'm 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 very very positive that he 100 did know but it's just so fucking ridiculous the type of holes that he digs for himself the entire video the entire bit the entire joke is i lost all of my money in crypto if you want to be broke too buy my shit coin that's what i say in my tweets 
What's the joke about you getting paid to do this, though? Okay, so Boogie gets kind of interrupted there, but he says that he says that in the video. Uh, he did not say that in the video because that's a ridiculous fucking claim. That is the stupidest thing. Oh, yeah, buy this 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 shit coin. I, I lost money in crypto, so it'd be really funny if you did, too. I told them they won't make money. I literally told you you'll go broke buying this coin. You, you told, can't think in, in the tweets and in the videos. Not in the video. I watched the video. We watched the video. This, this is not bad faith editing. I swear to God, if it was in the video, I would show you. It's not fucking in there. Maybe he says it in tweets, but I'm calling his bullshit right now. He does not say it in the video. I said, don't buy this coin. You'll go broke. If you want to be broke like me, buy this coin. Did not fucking say anything close to that in the video. If, y you can go look at it. You know, I'll put the I'll, I'll put the link to the video down below. And you go watch it. You come back and tell me if that's said anywhere in that video. There are plenty of companies that I've worked with that are just there to get their name out. And they're glad to make their money back or even spend the money to get name recognition. I can name a dozen. These people are spending money to get pump.fun meme coin name recognition? I don't, I, I presume. Okay, I just don't understand how someone can have less of a grasp on reality than fucking Christian Weston Chandler, alright? Anytime I think, oh, is someone bad, you know, how lost from reality are they? And I always compare, like, is it as bad as Chris Chan? And honestly, I'm, <laughs> from this shit, I'm thinking Boogie might be worse. Maybe not in such an insane way, but this guy is just such a lying piece of shit. I can only imagine the things that he actually thinks it's so baffling everything that comes out of his mouth because none of it's true or it, it's just there to gain like farm sympathy off of people it's gross it's disgusting and it's just not fucking it's not right Ugh. i hate him i hate him so much i don't know if you understand what my life is like right now but i have so much free time that i spend a lot of it on my discord now because I'm just bored out of my mind. I don't have places to go. I don't have money to spend. I'm literally just fighting for my life over here. And a lot of that involves staying home, spending my money where it needs to be spent, and trying to just not stress myself out to make my polycythemia vera any worse. Bookie, get a fucking job. Do anything. He's, he's constantly complaining about, oh, I don't have any money. I don't have anything to do. I'm just sitting around, I'm fucking jerking off on Discord, gooning with my boys in the documentary. And his commonly known fucking philosophy on war on the world is that he's 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 above a job. He's the boogie two nine eight eight. You know the I I was big on early YouTube. I have to be successful all the time. I I I'm above a job. I can't get one because I I'm too good for that. I'm Boogie. Well, let me tell you, Steven, you're not. You're not better than anyone else. In fact, you're worse than most people in this fucking country, at least. You're a pathetic, narcissistic loser who can't be helped. The only person who can help you, Boogie, is yourself, and you're not willing to do that. You, you know why they tell you to do it for a week, right? That's how much time they need to get out, out of the coin. They're going to slowly drain the coin as people buy in. They're going to use whatever's worth of your name to dump on your fans. You know that. Well, I... If you're telling me that, I believe you. And that's another another signature boogie move. If anyone criticizes him, tells him that he did something wrong, he's always like, "Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, that was fucked up." You know, I'm I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you there. You know, let's sit down, have some tea, jerk each other off. Let's go. You know, I love you, man. It is so slimy and pathetic. I just want people who don't know or people who've forgotten. This guy was once known as the nicest man on the internet, the Mister Rogers of the internet. How the mighty fall, huh? Isn't it just a shit coin, a meme? No one's actually going to buy the thing. And then $3 million worth of trading volume happened. Yeah, I was not expecting that, obviously. I you know who was expecting that? Money. The people who paid you. I obviously don't want anybody to lose money. I thought there was going to be some trading. I obviously don't want anyone to lose money. Boogie, then what the fuck was the joke that you were making with this whole thing? I thought the whole joke of this stupid shit coin was that, oh, it, it's so funny. It's hilarious that I lost all of my money in crypto that that uh, he didn't even have, by the way. He says he lost like $7,000 in crypto. He didn't like 
to my knowledge, I could be wrong. You know, any any boogie enthusiast, you know, tell me uh, tell me I'm wrong if I am. But he didn't even fucking have that seven thousand dollars. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, that seven thousand dollars was like the projected amount or like the the highest that the uh, whatever fucking coin he had had reached at that point that he missed. He missed the height of some fucking cryptocurrency's value and now claims that he lost that much. It is pathetic. If I'm not mistaken, that's what this whole thing is about. His, his, that, that one fuck up with crypto. Maybe he's had more. I wouldn't be surprised. But that whole thing is like, oh, isn't that hilarious? And yeah, it is, Buggy. It's funny how stupid you are. But who would think it's funny to do it to themselves? That's such an awful joke. Like, I don't get it. Like, what, what is Boogie expecting? Honestly, what is Boogie expecting? Don't you think it's, um, Kind of gross, given that you know firsthand, almost better than anyone, the damage that speculative investments can do. That you would then make money from a speculative investment like this. I put my money in the crypto market in the wrong section, and I pretty much lost most of everything. Right, that's why I'm telling people don't make a speculative investment here because I lost my ass. Like if you watch the video, hopefully you'll include it in your video, parts of it. But in the video, I talk about how broke I am, how I lost my money on crypto. I talk about if you want to be broke like me, join my community. And I right, you're doing a satire of Andrew Tate's crypto coin. That's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Really okay. Whereas he's saying join it, make money. I'm saying join it, lose money. Okay, so the joke is, right, he's doing a satire of Andrew Tate's crypto coin, but the joke is that Boogie makes $10,000 off of it. Isn't that funny? It's my understanding I hold none of this coins. I don't have any coins in my wallet. Uh, it's my understanding they've set aside 2% for me, but I don't have a way to receive that, um, so I, I don't know what good that does me. And 2% of nothing, I thought, was nothing anyway, so who cares? No, but now the, the coin is, <laughs> your coin that you told no one to buy is being bought, unsurprisingly. And now it is worth something. Are you then going to sell that too? If you get a hold of it, are you going to sell it? No, I will not sell, I, I won't be able to get a hold of it. I don't have a wallet anymore. Well, they can just sell it for you. They can just make money for you. Are you going to take it? If I'm being genuine with you, and I do want to be genuine with you and the rest of the internet, I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills, and I'm fighting cancer, and I very much like... Aha! Uh -huh. Right there, did you hear that? I'm fighting cancer. So, straight from Boogie's mouth, scamming his audience is okay because he has medical bills and is fighting cancer. He cannot be criticized or judged or, or is not committing a scam because he has cancer. Do you hear that? Let's not forget how in the documentary, Boogie wakes up, slides off his CPAP machine, and chugs a Mountain Dew. It, th this is how this man lives. And he's, he's now saying, I had to promote a scam for $10,000 because I'm fighting off cancer. When this man lives one of the most unhealthy lives that a person can. Let's just bring back from earlier those arcade machines. There's like, what, like nine of them there? In just that spot, always on? Let's not talk about just the electricity that that fucking costs. I guarantee you he's not standing there playing those games every day. I am almost positive and he has not touched them for years and uses them as nothing but a backdrop. He could sell all of those and, and get a good few thousand dollars, I would imagine. Uh, boom, right there. Few thousand bucks for you, Boogie. Get rid of those arcade machines you don't use, I'm sure. Not only that, if you really want to play those games, there are other ways to do it for free. You don't need these giant ass arcade cabinets, all right? It just, it, 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 it doesn't make sense for someone of your alleged financial status. Not only that, you could also just downsize, which I, I know Boogie is like, oh, I can't because because like hospitals or whatever, the hospital I, I really like is gets further away if I move somewhere else. Fuck off. If you can't afford to live where you are, you know, especially Boogie, you know, you probably have more money than you lead on. So there's a good chance that even if he can't afford to live in that house, I guarantee you he could afford to live in a smaller place. He could also get rid of the tens of thousands of dollars of just shit that he has. If anyone will even fucking take it. Here, Boogie, I'll even offer you just the 
the best of both worlds. Move into a, a smaller house next to an arcade. Boom, there you go. You can get rid of those shitty cabinets that you haven't fucking touched so that maybe if one day you get the urge, you can just waddle into the doors and be like, oh, I am Boogie, I have cancer, let me play for free. And they'll be so scared of you that they'll let you just walk in and play for free, I'm sure of it. And that's my advice to Boogie2988. Let's keep going. Not to, you know, fuck around with my healthcare too much, but that's something I would genuinely have to consider. Not to talk, I, I'm pretty sure he says not to talk around with my healthcare too much. Almost every other sentence out of Boogie's mouth is something about his fucking health issues. I need the money to pay for that. I have a $2,000 a month mortgage. I, I, I genuinely would like very much to keep my home. I'd very much like, but I don't want to do it at the price of ripping anybody off. And I, I, I that is kind of what's happened here a, a little bit though. You know that you don't want to do it at the price of ripping everyone off boogie. That's what you've been doing. That's what this whole thing is. You're ripping people off for $10,000 and counting. If you can get those people to sell your goddamn coins when you get them, like, it's just so how fucking dull do you have to be boogie? Come on. Yeah. I mean, you've informed me of that, and I am very sorry for that. I, I hope people listened. I hope people heard what I had to say. I hope people remember, like, you're buying into a community that's there to make fun of me for losing my ass. Of course, we can't stop hearing what you have to say because we've damn near fucking memorized it. Because it's the same exact thing every single time. You know, it's either, oh, I don't have the money, I have cancer, or, you know, fucking, a corpse can't do this, you know? Because, oh... I was gonna kill myself in 2017 or whatever fucking year it was. Like, yeah, obviously, that that's 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 a sad thing, you know? But the fact that you still bring it up, you still hold it over everyone's heads like, oh, I was gonna kill myself uh, back fucking, was it, you know, eight, eight, nine years ago, whatever. I can't do math. It's just so fucking annoying. Well, I, I accept the fact that you're telling me I'm ripping people off, and I accept that that might very well be true, and I don't mean to be. And it was not my intention. My intention was to be a spectacle, as I've always chosen to be on YouTube, for people to look and laugh and realize that I'm the fat, dumb idiot that lost his money in crypto. To drive home the point that crypto is not a smart or safe investment, and you have to be very careful with your money. This I said that in the video. I've said that on the, the Telegram. I said it on Twitter, and I'll say it again here. And I genuinely do not think anybody would think... That this isn't some grand point. You're just making 10K. This is just you making 10K. I sh I shouldn't need to tell you why that is the dumbest thing a human being can say. I need to, I need to hear that again. I need to hear that fucking shit again. Well, I, I accept the fact that you're telling me I'm ripping people off, and I accept that that might very well be true, and I don't mean to be. And it was not my intention. My intention was to be a spectacle, as I've always chosen to be on YouTube, for people to look and laugh and realize that I'm the fat, dumb idiot that lost his money in crypto. To drive home the point that crypto is not a smart or safe investment, and you have to be very careful with your money. See, so you see what I mean about the whole, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I am an asshole. And he, he just completely deflects by just, like, accepting every allegation of being a fucking scamming dickhead. A scamming, fat, stupid dickhead. Because that, that's what Boogie is. And I, I, I guarantee you, if I tell that to his face, he'll be like, Yeah, I am a big, fat, stupid, smelly, fucking retard dickhead. He, there's literally no way that he can fight back because his... his He's indefensible. You cannot defend this guy. And he can't defend himself. It's clear. And he, he digs himself into a hole every single time. It's pathetic. I don't get why Boogie just doesn't try and be a good person. He's he's really leaning into trying to be like this bad boy who says all the controversial things and is mean and scams his audience because he's a bad boy. But Boogie, you're like, what, like almost 50 if not 50 or whatever pushing it at least it, it, you can't be a you can't be boogie 2988 and be a bad boy okay it's just a fundamental character trait that does not, that that clashes with who you are it just does not work and it you cannot keep trying to make it work people will hate you they'll keep hating you i hate you if that's not already obvious i've said it like 800 times already but i really fucking hate boogie and so does basically everyone else who who knows of this guy and boogie knows that boogie's proud of that he's proud of people hating him because it's it's still numbers it's still people caring about him and and it's just it's so frustrating because of just the person boogie is he'll 
probably never see the error of his ways. He'll never have some kind of introspective moment of like, wow, I am an insufferable douchebag and nobody likes me. Wow, it, it's never gonna happen. Boogie will never have that in his goddamn life. He, he probably hasn't, and he definitely never will. I, I'm not preying on his downfall, but I know it's inevitable. And I'm not gonna be upset when it happens. Fuck, it's happening right now. What am I, what am I saying? drive home the point that crypto is not a smart or safe investment and you have to be very careful with your money this i said that in the video i've said that on the the telegram i said it on twitter and i'll say it again here and i genuinely do not think anybody would think this isn't some grand point you're just making 10k this is just you making 10k i think you can do both <laughs> i think you can make a point and get paid to do it you can make a point and get paid doing it yeah, if you're not getting paid by the thing you're speaking, uh, you're supposedly speaking against, Boogie. Are you fucking stupid? Obviously. Why did I even ask? Obviously. But, but, oh, si, si, uh, can't fucking compute. Holy shit, divide by zero. Okay, now that you, if you start to believe that I'm correct, are you willing to try to avoid the damage you might do to people by, one, not selling your tokens, and two, maybe giving back the back half of you said the first half is spent. I don't know if that's true. I'm just trusting you here, but actually yeah. giving back the 5k you're going to be making back to the community, locking it, making sure that uh, people aren't going to get hurt further. No, I'm, I'm going to pay my medical bills next month with that last half. And I'm sorry to anybody that's disappointed with that. I have an $1,100 medication plus a $300 medication. I get a bunch of med. I want to buy medicine with it, man. And if, if people are disappointed with that, I fully understand that. It's a shitty thing to do, and I'm a shitty person for doing it. You can have that opinion, and I'm okay with it. And I can almost 100% guarantee that maybe half of those medications he could stop taking if he stopped chugging Mountain Dew the second he wakes up. If he stops sitting on Discord gooning for 12 hours a day. If he, if he fucking stops being such a loser, maybe he wouldn't have to pay so much in medication. Hmm? Ever thought of that, Boogie? Of course you haven't. I want to buy medicine with it, man. And if, if people are disappointed with that, I fully understand that. It's a shitty thing to do, and I'm a shitty person for doing it. You can have that opinion, and I'm okay with it. What's so frustrating about him admitting that he's a shitty person is not because he recognizes it or realizes it, or because if he did, he would change. He's saying that because he's just going through the motions to make people like empathize with him or be like yeah you know what he does know that maybe he's gonna change news flash he's not gonna fucking change he hasn't i don't know since i've known about him i think you're going to try to get as much money out of this as you can well if it's probably the last thing i'll get to do and i bet after this video is live i don't think a lot of people are gonna trust me moving forward nobody trusts you anyways boogie no one with a brain no one who doesn't believe that gullible is taped on their ceiling would ever believe you for the past fucking i don't know five six years every single thing i've ever seen him be like put himself to he has failed utterly my first you know exposure to boogie was when he was on the official podcast and he had this kind of optimistic tone of like yeah i'm gonna get like a fucking surgery i'm gonna lose weight i've been losing weight things are looking great i got divorced but hey you know things are still going okay i i think i think he was divorced at the time you know it was like maybe boogie can be good and uh no, he's fucking fatter than ever. He's more unlikable than ever. He just gets worse and worse. It's not possible for this guy to change and become better. And even if he does, it's not genuine. It's clear that the, the Mr. Rogers of the internet was, was a farce. He was not a nice person. He was a fucking uh, an entitled asshole the whole time. And he was just able to hide it better. People just didn't know it at first. And then when people started calling him out on it and more people started realizing how much of a useless dickhead this guy is he started leaning into it and it's hurting him more and more i hope they're not getting rich uh because i sure is shitting from it i hope nobody's losing money and i hope they're not taking it i hope nobody's taking money from this i hope nobody loses money well that's impossible when you have three million dollars in trading volume i hope nobody's losing money boogie you said the joke was the fact that motherfuckers are losing money what are you talking about God damn it, Boogster. Okay, thanks, Boogie. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope yeah, you get I really better. You, I hope I, I hope you uh, you get better with your sickness and. Um, yeah, it's cancer, man. It, uh, you don't people don't generally get better, uh, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
Have a good one. Thank you. I mean, come the fuck on. If you were still on Boogie's boat, you know, before that, I'm just going to play that again. Just fucking listen to that again. Yeah, it's cancer, man. It, uh, you don't, it, people don't generally get better. Uh, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you. What the fuck, Boogie? I don't even know really what to call that. I, I guess it's just attention-seeking. It's just some attention-seeking fucking trash that, like, I, I was going to say a child would do, but not even a child would do that. It's immature. It's just attention-begging. It is... It's pathetic. Again, that's, that's, the, that's the word of the day. Pathetic. And speaking of Boogie, uh, we got a little video here. As you can see, we got the... Beautiful, illustrious Mudahar, some ordinary gamers. And it's, I guess, Keemstar had like a 4th of July party. And who'd you know it? But Boogie was there. Ain't that cool? You know, what's your point in all this? I'm just saying, why, why be a victim? Just be honest about it. Why be a victim? Boogie, why be a victim? Put the glove on. Be a, be a victor. Boogie, why be a victim? Why be a victim? I, I can't hear what she's saying, but I guarantee you she just lied to him to just get the fuck out of there. Because even if she won't say it outright, I'm going to say what everyone's been thinking. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just I'm just going to say it. I'm going to drop what we've all been thinking in our heads. She is incredibly embarrassed of Boogie, especially right now. I, I think she she's leaving the scene because she can't fucking stand to just be associated with this absolute mongoloid. Boogie, why be a victim? Why be a victim? Stupidity. Stupidity. He blames all of this on stupidity. No, no, just tell the camera you wanted money and you didn't care about your audience. That's it. That's uh, no, I, I wanted money and I also wanted people to not to fucking attack me, so I played the victim like a dipshit, knowing it never works, because oh, so I'm a fucking covert narcissist piece of oh, shit. Narcissist. You want to hear what it is? I reverted to my covert narcissism ways. Because I'm a fucking covert narcissist piece of shit. Boogie, acknowledging that you're an awful person does not make you a better person. Especially when your version of self-awareness is fake. Because if you really recognize that in yourself and recognize it as a problem, you would try to probably change it, I would imagine. Or at least a normal person would. But you're not fucking one of those. You're Boogie2988. You're too good for change. I did a Caleb Hammer interview today. And I told everybody to go fuck themselves because it was funny. And I'll tell this man here right here. Go fuck yourself. It was funny. Nobody Ooh. was afraid. Nobody was afraid. I literally was like, yo, don't be a victim. Proceeds to be a victim for the next 90 seconds. <laughs> no way with it, dude. Where's the victim? Where's the victim? Another problem with Boogie. I I'm sorry. This video is going to be like fucking two hours long. I just really hate this man. And I've never let this... I've never let this out before. So, Boogie, uh, you see it in the Mike Klum documentary, too, uh, where he talks about, oh, I love dark humor, you know, if it's child murder, fucking terrorism, just the worst shit war. I, th I think the, the worse it is, the more it should be joked about. And to a degree, you know, in a dark time, sometimes comedy is needed. Yeah, but there's there's a fine line to walk. You can joke about something dark and still be respectful towards it. You can you can be edgy and be dark without being just a tone deaf asshole. I, I'm not gonna say that I'm a, a, I'm a master at you know reading the room. I, I know I'm not, but I'm st I'd like to say I'm a little better than Boogie. He defends being a piece of shit asshole uh, because it's it's funny. I'm not saying that being a dick can't be funny. I, 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 it's me, all right. I like to I like to be a dick, all right. Sometimes it's warranted, sometimes it's not. I I just hate how Boogie tries to defend every instance of him being an insufferable douchebag. It's like, oh, I just like dark humor, you know. I thought it was funny, so I'm just gonna keep going in that, bro. You're an asshole. Fuck you. I think it's funny. It's hilarious because I like fucking Howard Stern, bro. Guess what? Howard Stern's not. Funny. I'm telling you, I've had an interview today. Just, just, just said it's funny. You want to, to, you want to scam the audience and make money? That's it. Where's the scam? I told you not to buy it. The scam would be to tell you, you but hey, you know, I know, no, I know a scam. I've seen you promote Ray Shadow Legends. And look at Muda, just the absolute tungsten bald chad that he is. Just sitting there with his fucking fingers crossed, not changing position at all, just sitting back his chair. Oh. He's so cool, I love this man. Boom, and and the rest of this is just gonna be dedicated to pointing out the fact that Muda has never promoted Raid Shadow Legends. Quite the opposite, in fact. 
uh, his most one of his most popular videos is him shitting on Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, so they just basically call Boogie out in yet another lie. You know, no surprise there. Okay, so Muda's like, yeah, I actually, I you know, I, I shat on Raid Shadow Legends, and then Boogie's like, oh fuck yeah, dude, that's actually so awesome, and then goes in for a handshake. One of my most popular videos is how I rejected a bag from Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, that's awesome, actually, that's awesome. I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Hey, at the end of the day, I know you fucking hate me. I got no bag. Come on. I'm not shaking your hand. Not you know, we've been talking a little bit of shit tonight, but hey, no bad blood, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then Mood is like, no, I'm not shaking your fucking hand, bro. It's just shit's dumb. What the fuck are you doing? Because yeah, Boogie's being an absolute fucking weirdo. It's so dumb that he just sucks up to every single person that criticizes him as if that would just make their criticisms just completely invalid. Uh, but no, Boogie, everyone hates you because you're an insufferable asshole. No one would want to defend you. Or, or be on your side or be friendly with you. I got no bad luck. Come on. I'm not shaking your hand. He's not gonna shake your hand. Ooh. Scat him off, buddy. Scat him off. This man just got engaged. Come on, man. Put it, I'll shake his put hand. Put it aside for the end of the night. Put it aside for the end of the night. Bro, I don't care. Dude, it is just such a pathetic display of just rolling over and taking it. Which, I mean, I'm not saying boogie shouldn't just take it because he's obviously in the wrong but this is just such a pathetic way to take it you know boogie is easily one of my least favorite people not only on youtube but just really ever uh so yeah i think that's really all i had to say about him fuck boogie uh yep yeah. see ya